The importance of having the Commission present at this event is to, of course, promote all the constitutional rights to equality. And our work at CGE particularly looks at ending all oppression based on gender. I'm very excited to be here because I'm a strong believer in women power and sessions like these with the Rising Star community is a safe zone for women to actually share experiences and assist each other to actually reach their best potential. Women need to have a safe environment. They must be free to communicate and express how they feel. There should be harmony between men and women in IT because we both can learn from each other. So, so I think it's absolutely fabulous to have an opportunity to connect as women and women in technology thinking about how do we democratize success. I think very often we look at people who have made it and find that it's unavailable to us and I think these forums really make it level the playing fields and grounds to know that there are people who have walked this journey before us and they are available to help us and guide us. It's important to realize that even as women in corporate and private spaces, we are too part of the bigger society and so those micro issues replicate themselves in the workspace and how can we together attain gender equality for all. But what you find lagging behind is the human resource policies that support the existence of women in the workspace and I think what's important is to realize that some of the policy wording changes can really be immediate with maximum effect and it means that women can literally have budgets that reflect their existence in the workplace but can also have corporate culture that is supportive for their thriving. Something as simple as having a room that's private where she can use to extract breast milk, something having you know a small bar fridge where she can store the milk up until she goes home. Those things make incredible incredible differences not only in the lives of women but the lives of their children as we know women still carry multiple roles at home in communities and of course in the workplace. So I was quite inspired by Natalie, who really talked about her deliberate focus on including women at the table, where she's now achieved 60% representation. And it's really those deliberate actions that we need to take in order to broaden and to ensure that we are getting to equal, because we know we can't wait. I'm very passionate about women and youth. So if somebody's got talent, then it's to give them an opportunity, and that's been my purpose of my business. There's nothing wrong having a male mentor, because I believe between male and females, we can actually learn from each other. So for me, the working environment becomes a more converged environment if we actually work together. A lot of employees spend a lot of time in front of computers, they don't take breaks, the work is pressured, people are after outcomes and deliverers, which is fine, but we have to take care of the humans in the system, we have to take care of the people who make uh, the profits happen, and I think at the end of the day, that speaks to our belief and our commitment to longevity. So I think duty of care is something that we cannot negotiate. We need to encourage ourselves to also stand up for what we believe is the right thing to do and be true to ourselves. I think it takes courage. You need to grow with that. You need to grow stronger and stronger as you sit in that environment. So really the conversations this morning were for me very practical as well, not just interesting conversation morning talks, but really around one of those practical things that are happening to close the gap in our country.